Now, for the Israelites, what you probably have not been told, it's a sin for you to vote in the first place. You ain't supposed to set nobody over you that's not of your brother. Now, for all the other people who are grafted in, you ain't supposed to be voting either because your loyalty is supposed to be to your king, right? Now, let me show y'all that. Let's go to scripture. Deuteronomy 17, verse 14 through 15. When thou art coming to the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, and shalt possess it, and shalt dwell therein, and shalt say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me, thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother, right? So the Israelites have no right whatsoever putting somebody over them that's not their brother, right? That's what the scripture says. This is the law. So if you do it and you're a true Israelite, that's sin. Now, let's go 2 Corinthians chapter 5 so I can talk to these Christians. All right. Now, again, I'm a born again Christian. Okay. Some people say they don't want to be called Christian. That ain't me. I don't listen to all that. But anyway, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 through 21. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, so we're in Christ's place, be ye reconciled to God right? For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So now being an ambassador for Christ, that means we are an ambassador for our king. We represent our king. You don't have the ambassador of Russia coming to America and voting in America's election. That would be treason against the country of Russia. We are ambassadors for the kingdom of God. Our king is coming back and the message we are to give this world is that you better get yourself together before our king comes back because when our king comes back, he's going to destroy all y'all unbelievers, right? That's why we are in the world, but we're not of the world.